So as much fun as we're having talking about Thanksgiving, we have to talk about not the turkey in the room, but the elephant in the room. Now, Mickey and Lisa, we cannot help but see every wrestling headline that comes across the interwebs because that's who we follow and nothing gets past us, right? Now, Mickey, you've been making the rounds on the sheets, on the tweets, and all in between. And there's so much speculation about you know, Tony Khan has said he's signing someone new to AEW. We also heard through the interwebs that you've been taken off of the Impact Wrestling roster page. Um, if you want to give us any insight, I mean, the, the rumors are swirling, but we have you here. So why not ask the source? Yeah. Wow. You need to know. We got to know. I will say I saw also on the Internet that I was taken off the Impact roster page and I was like, oh. That's interesting. Um, you know, I don't, I was like, oh, you know what was, I was really shocked about and I appreciate like the fans. Thank you guys. Y'all are amazing to know that you care and that um, it moved you to a point to where it like kind of rumbled my timeline. I don't know about who else's timeline at rumble, but I certainly saw a bunch of stuff about it. I was like, oh, um, I've had a wonderful working relationship with impact this whole time. Yeah. And I've been able to do some really great stuff. They, helped me so much with Empower, but also I was able to, uh, you know, the whole Rumble thing, going back for the Rumble as Knockouts World Champion and all the things, but I've never been under contract the whole time I've been there. I have a great relationship with Scott. I love Scott. They know that I'm always here for them, but right now, obviously, uh, and I, it took me a second to kind of like come to this, but you know, I and Lisa, you, you know, it's like, yeah. I yeah. wanted to do great business no matter what, but right now, Nick just got a hell of an opportunity and an opportunity that he's waited a very, very long time to get. And between juggling both of our schedules of me being on the road, I just found myself very stressed out. And I also think that it's, he's having a really awesome opportunity. And I think that I could just sit back for a little, because I don't really have anything else to prove in this world of wrestling. Are there things that I still want to do, or if it was the right thing or the right uh, moment or whatever, Sure. I'm down. I'm always down to do good business wherever that is. Right. Like, um, but I also wanted to take a space and just kind of be home and let Nick to go out and do his thing as the GM of SmackDown right now without any stress, without any worry. And knowing that like I'm mom and at home hard, I've still got signings. I still have appearances. I could still show up in a wrestling ring tomorrow if I wanted to and kick all the ass. Cause that's what hardcore country does. <laughs> But at the moment, no, I'm not current. And I think because Impact is rebranding, you know, they're going over to, they're changing from Impact to TNA. And as they're like revamping and cleaning, I think that they just kind of removed everyone who wasn't active on the roster. And my last stint was, and I told them, like, I want to come back. I want to face Trinity. I think this will be great. It'll be monumental. And I think that it takes any doubt out of the fans' minds of like, who's the champ? And who's not the champ? And uh, plus, I just wanted an opportunity to wrestle Trinity in a singles match because I never had a chance to do that. And I love her and I respect her so much and did that. I thought we had a great match. And uh, yeah. cheers. I'm just at yeah. home in hardcore yeah. country land, chilling, waiting on the phone to ring. Ding. There dong. you go. We are and I could, we are Hey, two. it could be me. You never know. That's the beauty of <laughs> Hello? This is the word to go, yo, go.